Hi, my name is Morgan Mosley and I'm the Airstream Specialist at South Haven RV and Marine. And today I would like to talk to you and show you this 2021 Airstream Interstate Grand Tour EXT. So here it is. The Airstream Interstates all come on the 3500 um, Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Have a 3.0 liter turbo diesel engine 188 horsepower, 325 pounds of torque. Uh, they all have a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, so you can pull a car or a boat or a small travel trailer behind. They do all come with the Alcoa aluminum wheels. Lightweight, heavy duty, uh, won't lose their shine. They also come with high quality Continental tires, each one. The Airstreams also come with well, some of the best warranties in the entire industry. Um, each one does come with three-year Airstream warranty, three years Mercedes warranty, five-year Mercedes engine and transmission warranty, and a five-year lithium battery warranty. All of the 2021 model touring coaches do come with the lithium package for the lithium batteries, which also include a updated um, surround sound speaker system for the back and also a new solar panel for the chassis battery. So we'll start by going around the outside. I'll kind of show you some of the features on here. So right here is your exhaust. You do have the dually wheels in the back. Down here you have your cable outlet and some electric 110 um, plugs. Down underneath here, this is your LP fill, um, your LP quick connect. This is how you're gonna turn your gas on for your furnace, for your stove, for your generator, and all of that. This also comes with the large armless awning. It does have the seismic sensor on it, so it detects um, strong gusts of wind. It will automatically bring the awning in any damage. In the back back here you do have your rear view camera. It's about a 180 degree um, view of the back uh, what's behind you. Um, it actually displays on the rear view mirror in the front of the coach so you can always see what's going on behind you. Down here is your cover for your receiver hitch. It does come with a seven-way plug and brake control. Um, I did mention that this this unit you know, will tow up to 5,000 pounds, but if you are not planning on towing anything, just keep the cover on to give that a, a smooth, sleek automotive um, feel. You also have your sensors down here. Your Parktronic parking sensors. It's an incredible feature that comes with, uh, each, of these, with each of these interstates that makes uh, parking something this size just very, very easy. Your generator is kind of in the middle, up underneath. Now on this side, this is your exhaust for your generator. This is your exhaust for your suburban tankless hot water heater. This right here is your city water intake. This is your plug for your 30 amp um, power supply. Down here is going to be your where your uh, macerator pump is. They each each um, Airstream Touring Coach does come with a macerator pump with an auto retract, so you're never having to uh, detach a dirty, nasty sewage hose and put it in some kind of storage. And here you do have your outside shower, um, hot and cold water. You do have your... Um, your fresh water intake fill right here, and this has some more to do with um, your water tanks. This is your exhaust for your furnace. Your uh, diesel fill station is right here. 
get to by opening the door. Now each of the Airstream interstates also have the, the side cameras. So you, as you're changing lanes, you will be able to see what's on either side of you. Come around to the front. You do have the integrated step so that if your, um, your windshield gets dirty, you can step on up there, wipe it all off. More Parktronic sensors. This thing is loaded down with some sensors. That's the basics of the outside. Now go inside for the fun stuff. So it's the push of a button on your key fob. door is electric, will open automatically. As it opens, your step comes out automatically also. So right here at the beginning, you do have a screen door. You also have a screen in the very back, so if you ever wanted to leave the back doors open, leave this door open on a nice day, you get a nice breeze come through without any worry about bugs or anything getting inside your coach. Okay, so let's step inside here. So this is the Grand Tour and the Interstate Lounge. And right here, and right over here, you'd have two additional captain seats. In the Grand Tour, they've taken out these captain seats and they've given you an integrated workstation. Got your TV right here. You got your table right here. So you could just stop, swivel your uh, captain seat around and hook up your laptop and do some work, whatever you need to do right here. And this table can also be removed and put in the back so that you can uh, sit back there, you know, eat on it, play games on it, whatever you want to do. So this is the inside. In the Grand Tour, the galley is switched from the lounge, which is on this side and the bathroom is on this side in the lounge and they switch together because they took out this one captain seat right here. You do have a much larger galley in the Grand Tour, way a lot more uh, prep space, surface area. Now right up in here, this is kind of your command center. You are going to have your touch screen um, controls. This is your home screen. On the home screen, you have the master light. You press that, you can turn all your lights off, all your lights on. You also have a medium dim, a low dim, and a cinema. This button right here is for extracting and retracting your awning. This is um, for your rear screen that we were talking about. You bring down, um, you can only the doors open to keep bugs out. The home screen, you do have climate control. You can start, your start and stop your generator. Um, check your battery levels and what kind of charge they're pulling. Also, it shows your uh, your tank percentages. Right now, the fresh tank is empty, gray tank is empty, black tank is empty, and your LP is full on this one right here. Right here, you can also set your water tank heaters, um, your water heater, your um, on-demand water heater, and your water pump if you need to take a shower, use the bathroom, or use your sink. So on this next screen right here, you can control every single light um, automatically. So galley on, galley off, ceiling is dimmable. We'll put those back up. But just everything, both inside and outside, all the lights will be featured right here. This is, uh, this is your, where you would set your auto gin start. Um, many reasons you might want to do this. Well, campgrounds have um, quiet time, where after a certain time you have to turn off your generators and all of the loud things. So what you could do is you could come in here and put your settings on so that, you know, say you want, you say you want your generator to stop at nine o'clock, but you want to start back up at 8 a.m. You can set all this in here for, for that. Um, among other other features, if you, if, it, if you can set it so that if it detects that your uh, your batteries get down to 11.5 volts or something, um, 
it'll automatically kick the generator on so it'll charge your batteries back to where they need to be. Um, all kinds of settings like that. Back to home, you do have your climate control right here. You have your controls for your fantastic fan on this side. This is for all of your screens. It does have completely electric screens. Shade Master that will um, put all of them down at the same time. Then you can do each individual one right here. And there's a few more features on the settings right here. Over here, this is your power control system. It's going to tell you what you what what you are using that is drawing um, electric or battery power. This right here is going to be your inverter. This right here is your display panel for your solar. You're not gonna really do much with this. This just kind of tells you what kind of energy you're pulling from the sun. The solar the solar system just kind of uses, you know, it, it does its own thing. You don't really have to mess with it. It just kind of works on its own, but this is where you can monitor how much uh, power you're actually pulling from the sun. And this right here is going to be um, a keyhole to turn on your heaters for your lithium batteries. With the lithium batteries, the new feature that they put into uh, these coaches, they have uh, 10 times more power. You can uh, empty them all the way down to zero and refill them, but just, uh, just keep them going and going and going. They are really an incredible new upgrade. But when it comes to lithium batteries, they need to be about 35 degrees to function properly. So this right here, if you're going out when it's colder, you'll be able to turn this heater on. It's automatic. So if it ever drops below 35, the heaters will, already, already will go ahead and turn on and heat your batteries up to a sufficient level for them to, to function properly. Um, you know, when, when it warms up outside, your heater will go off on its own. So that's just a keyhole for that. And next over here, another feature that the, um, that is incorporated into the Grand Tour and not on the lounge is a large wardrobe closet. You can take these shelves out if you want to so you can hang clothes, or you can just leave those in there and store things. Get your drawers down here. Now, the touch screen that was up here, you have two more throughout. You have one as soon as you enter the coach, right here. It has all the very same features, just a little bit smaller screen. You have another one in the very back, so you can control everything while you're sitting back there on the sofa. It does come with a fire extinguisher. Uh, now we'll look at the galley. We do have a sink. With a cover. You do have a two burner gas cooktop. You do have convection microwave, which you can well locked. One second. So you can open it with the push of a button. And then you can close it with the push of a button. You can also open and, and close it manually, but that uh, that button right there is just a extra convenient. So you do have a lot of storage in this galley. drawer here. This one has a built-in um, little area for your trash can, a paper towel holder. More storage down here. Pretty deep drawers. It does come with the silverware holder. Another one down here. Storage for pots and pans and cooking utensils and everything that you may need. Also lots of overhead storage. So all the way down, you see how it's pretty deep, all the way down and across the back and over here, you have more overhead storage. Does come with the signature Airstream aluminum ceiling with the aircraft grade rivets. This right here is the fantastic fan I was talking about earlier. It does have a rain sensor, so if it ever starts raining, uh, the fan will automatically shut down to prevent the inside of your coach from getting wet. Now, over here, we'll look at the refrigerator, the freezer. 
It's a tall, deep refrigerator. It's a compressor refrigerator. It's the same type of deal you would uh, you'd use in your house. And your freezer is actually a drawer, and it gets cold. Cold enough to keep ice cream and come out rock hard. Um, very nice. Next, we'll look at the wet bath. Here you see it. it, has the porcelain toilet, sink, you have the mirror that will come out and you can position it however you'd like. It does have a soap dispenser over on the wall, uh, you know, filled with body wash, shampoo, so if anything you need over here, conditioner. It does have a curtain. It also has a, um, a clothesline. You just twist it, pull it, connect it over here. If you ever have um, some wet towels you need to hang up, you can just hang them on that. It has a fan up top to pull out all the steam. And down low, it also has a toilet paper cover. So while you're taking a shower in here, your toilet paper remains dry. It has a little towel bar on the door. Okay, so back here, back in the, uh, the lounge area, we do have two ottomans. You also have a sofa in the rear. Now, each five of these seats does come with a seat belt. So legally, you can carry seven people in this unit. This is right here is where you'd put the table that I was talking about in the front. That's part of the integrated workstation. That's where you'd put that if you want a little snack table or you want to eat back here or something. Now, it does come with TV in the rear. There's your other uh, touch panel that I was, was talking about. Here you do have some cup holders. You have some 110 outlets. More cup holders on this side. I'll show you some of the storage that's back here. This one in the back is the largest. It is very deep. You put a lot of stuff back in here. Now we're talking about um, some of the, the shade features. I want to kind of showcase those to you real quick. So we'll go back. So I was talking about cinema mode earlier. Well, this is back here is where you're probably going to be watching TV. So if you decided you wanted to watch a movie, you press cinema mode. Your lights will dim and your electric shades will automatically come down to set the atmosphere for when you are... Uh, to watch a movie. Now, I also have medium dim, low dim. I'll bring all this back up. Now go back to the shade function. And you can raise these shades um, individually. So there's the mid one. There's the rear. Or you can press the master shade up and it'll bring all of them back up. So it's convenient as it could possibly be. Now back here is also where you'll be sleeping if you choose to sleep at. Now on the wall right here you have the controls for your bed. So these two are for your ottomans. Press the button, these will come down. middle. Press the lounge button and this goes down as well. To give you your large bed. These side cushions just down in there. Tuck the seat belts back in and there you have it. There's your bed. Now on this one thing I want to show you here. Let me put these ottomans back up real quick before I go over there and show you.
So this also comes with, um, I'll show you when we get back. You do have two reading lights that you can move around to angle whichever direction you want. You have one there and one here. And in the back back here, you have some little storage areas. They do have USB ports in there, so you can set your phone in there to charge as you're sleeping. You have one on this side as well. So put this back up, and then I'm going to go around to the back of the coach to show you what's going on up underneath the sofa. These doors back here, they do open all the way. You have some goodies in here. So this is your um, your hose for the shower, for the outside shower. This is your, for your LP Quick Connect. They do supply you with a 30 amp to 110 power adapter in case you don't have a 30 amp um, port to plug into at your home or wherever you are. If you need to, you can plug into on a 10 amp right there. And this right here, this does come with um, with uh, privacy curtains for the front windshield and the two windows in the very front of the coach. So what I was gonna show you back here, this part right here actually extends. And it comes with two extenders for your bed to kind of create a headboard type area uh, to prevent your pillows from falling off the back whenever whenever you have this down and you're trying to sleep. And that's one of the things I want to show you. I also have a little bit more storage back here. You do have some lights. You can see that the storage up underneath does go pretty far. So back up here. This is the look all the way through. Here we'll go back in and kind of take a look at the front of the coach and the driver's seat. And once again, this is on the new Mercedes chassis. It has every single safety feature that uh, Mercedes-Benz offers. Um, every single best-in-class feature that Mercedes offers is incorporated into this coach right here. So it does have the touch uh, pinch zoom screen right here. You can access your phone, navigation, radio, media, um, info about the Mercedes portion some settings, Mercedes Pro app. Now on the steering wheel right here, this electric steering wheel, by the way, this is your mouse pad. And you can scroll through and select everything that you need to, need to do without ever taking your hands off the steering wheel. So there's your navigation. You can also answer your phone and control your volume from over here. Now on this side over here, this is gonna control what's behind. So you can go home, information about your different drive assists, um, your service, where you're at with that, trip, navigation, and all of that, a bunch of the same stuff, just right there. Just control it with this over here. You set your cruise control, set your lane assist, um, and all of that with these buttons. This does come with electric seats, um, three different program settings, um, one for two drivers, what a lot of people do with the third is in order to swivel these seats around, they need to be pushed all the way up. Um, so what a lot of people do is set the third setting with the seats in the all the way up position so that it's easy for them just to turn the seats around. Um, these seats do have, they are heated seats. Um, they do have electric lumbar support. They do have leg extenders for taller people. Up here, there's some charging um, outlets. Also, this right here is a wireless phone charger. 
We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cup holders up here, so you should never be thirsty on your trip. This right here is the um, the rear view camera that I that I mentioned. It's in the same spot as a rear view mirror would be, but in something like this, it's hard to see out of a rear view mirror, so that that right there um, substitutes that. This is the controls for your uh, surround sound speakers in the back. You can get a Sirius, Bluetooth, any of that. That is the front part. So once again, uh, my name is Morgan Mosley, the Airstream Specialist at South Haven RV and Marine in South Haven, Mississippi. Um, I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions regarding Airstream Touring Coaches, I would, uh, I would love to answer some of those questions for you and help you out. Um, if you're, you're just look, looking around, uh, seeing, seeing the differences between each of the Airstream Touring Coach models, I can also help you out with a lot of those questions as well. So give me a call um, and I would be more than happy to, uh, to get you one step closer to your own Airstream Touring Coach. Uh, thank you again.